Did it? I wasn't expecting this. Okay, so here's the plan. I was actually planning on reviewing the HOVA System 1 plugin and I quickly clicked through the plugin and I thought it was shit and I didn't feel like burning down a plugin again. It's getting a bit boring, well at least for me. But then I, I looked through the website to see what they had more and I saw the 4U plus blind test. This thing. And what this thing can do is do a fair comparison without you knowing which thing you're listening to. Something I've described in my A-B testing video. And I wanna test this plugin and try it out on me. Because I get a lot of comments and a lot of guys who ask me, can you even hear the difference between analog and digital? And what I wanna try, and I haven't tried this before, so I hope I can hear the difference. I wanna try to hear the difference between analog and digital EQing. I'm going to make some files to use first. I will do that on my big system because that one is connected to the analog stuff and then transfer the files over to my MacBook to do the exact comparison on because the blind test plugin doesn't run on the old Pro Tools system. I want to be as transparent as I can and as fair as I can with this test. So I wanna show you every step I do into making this comparison and then do the comparison. And well, I've picked three tracks from the YouTube audio library. They are, well, not yet over there. And I'm going to make EQ curves for them all and then replicate those EQ curves with a FAP filter and with a Pro Tools standard EQ for the comparison. So we will have three files, the analog, Pro Tools and FAP filter. And I will do that for all the three tracks. So I think you guys understand what I'm on about. Okay, so to show it, these are the settings I made for the first test. It's a country track. Let me quickly press play so you guys. What I did, I added six decibels of 10 kilohertz, which is a shelving filter, as you can see over here. I've added two decibels at one kilohertz, which has a wide Q factor. And I've added four decibels at 100 hertz. So I've replicated that in the Pro Q. It looks like this. And as you can see over here, we've got exactly four decibels at 100 hertz. We've got a shelving filter and I've widened up the Q factor a bit to get closer to the analog sound because analog Q factors are always wider than you think. I've also did the same at one kilohertz. It's two decibels, one kilohertz, and also a bit wider Q factor. And on the highs, the same settings. For another one, I've used the standard Pro Tools EQ to also replicate these settings. So the second one, which is the acoustic guitar track, I'm running that one through the ANT EQs and I'm boosting five decibels on 12.5. These are all bell shaped EQs, wide Q factor. We've got two decibels on two kilohertz and we've got a cutting of five decibels on 160 hertz with a little bit smaller Q factor. And as you can see, I've also replicated those in the FAB filter that looks like this and uh, which which is maybe a bit strange if you look at it first but yeah that's uh, what it should look like and this is what it should look like on the pro tools eq and for the last one which is more like an electronic track i'm actually boosting the hell out of it on the neumann eqs 10 decibels on 9.5 kilohertz four decibels at 1.9 kilohertz you can see it i think yeah and on 45 Hertz, I'm doing 10 decibels also, all with a wide Q factor. So I've also replicated those in the FAB filter one, which looks like this, and in the Pro Tools EQ, which looks like that. All right, so let's do this. I have the files in here. I've used the dynameter to check the loudnesses of all them. So I tried to make this as fair as possible, and I also tried to make the differences between the files as small as possible to make it the hardest for me to hear the difference between analog and digital. So here's the plugin from HOFA and what it does on all the channels, it has the plugin on, it gives you an option to solo them and it works simply like this. What it can do, because right now we've got the names over here, so analog, fab filter and pro tools. 
as that's for my checking afterwards so I can see if I did it correct or not. So what this plugin can do, when I press the start button, it will shuffle the tracks so I don't know which track is which and I can press the solo button and only listen and then enter a note or rate it with a few stars. What I need to do to make this honest is minimize all the windows because otherwise I can see where the level is. All right, let's go. <laughs> Definitely the first one. I'm pretty sure that's the analog one. Is it? That's the question. BAM! Yes! Yeah! Alright, alright. Whew! I don't know if it's if it came out over on screen, but this is oh, this is so difficult. Okay, so let's do it again. Let's see if I if I can also pick it in a second shuffle. This is difficult. I again think it's the first one. It would mean it didn't shuffle, but okay. Let me type it in. BAM! Oh! This is better than every video game I've ever played. Oh, oh man! You know what, if you guys like it, um, let me know in the comments below and I will make some kind of a package so you guys can also try to do this game and then we can do it all because it's very exciting actually, but I don't know if that's, uh, if you can make it out of the camera, but it's really, oh damn it. Okay, okay, let's switch to the next track.
I'm guessing between the second and the third one. Damn it! I think it's the third one. Yeah, let's let's just enter it. Fuck it. If I if I get this wrong, you know, if I get this wrong. Oh, oh, so, <laughs> so I was a bit confused because uh, on the other one it was on. The Kabam! I think I will be out of energy after this video. Oh, this is so so much tension on it. But you know, yeah. So let's do it once more to see if it was a guess or if I actually could hear it. I'm wondering if it actually shuffles it, because I'm again thinking that it's the third one. BAM! Yeah! Oh. Oh. I knew it would be difficult and actually to be honest, when I started recording this video, I thought, well, I think it will be another day wasted because if I wasn't able to hear the differences, I'm not sure if I wanted to publish it. Maybe it would be fun to publish it. I would be making fun of myself, but it's really difficult, but I'm, I'm pretty happy that there actually is a difference and that I can also pick them out. For this one, where I focused on or where I actually heard the difference, when I start soloing, I start really to print the sound in my brain. So the first one, I, I take a lot of time and then the second one, I take a lot of time and then the third one, and, and you need to take some time to listen to it. And where I could hear the difference is the best, and, and this sounds maybe a bit strange, but uh, I could hear the difference is the best in the, like, there was something on top of the guitar that, that made it, I don't know. But that, that's how I saw the differences. So difficult. Okay, one track more to go. Let's see if I can get a uh, six out of six score. I, I actually, I have to. <laughs> Because of the nature of this music, I think this will be the most difficult one because it's a very digital production already. But let's let's see. Yeah.
third one. I'm not sure why. Yeah, that one had this, that had most analog character to me, but I'm really, really not sure about this one. This is more like a guess. So. <laughs> Did it? I wasn't expecting this. Whoa! Did I really hear that difference? That's five out of six. How? Not not like being arrogant or something, but I, I I'm I'm really I wasn't sure if I was capable of doing this. Okay, let's do one more. One more. Let's hope that I also have that one. Again, this would be more like a guess than I... I, I don't want to look again. I think it's this one. Ah. Ah. So, yeah, I, I, th I, I saw this one coming, yeah. So, five out of six, that's a... That's not bad, that's not bad. The interesting thing was with this track, I was... It was pretty easy to hear the difference between the Fab Filter and the, and the Pro Tools one, or the Analog Plus Fab Filter and the Pro Tools one. The interesting thing with this track, it was really easy to hear the Pro Tools EQ. It was so much more digital and plasticky sounding that I was almost immediately clear to me which one wasn't the Analog, but between the fab filter and the analog one, that was really, really, really difficult to hear. As you can see from the results of the last test. This video is called, can I hear the difference between analog and digital? And I think we can answer with yes. If you don't agree with me, that's of course fine. Leave it in the comments below. Also, maybe we can do a like live comparison sometimes, you know, with a live stream or something or or maybe with a with a like a pack that I make a pack with some analog and some digital things in there and that we can all try it at home or something to do maybe it's a good idea let me know if that is a good idea to do like some kind of a group comparison or audience comparison I don't know so that being said I want to end this video over here if you want to support me you can do that on patreon over here you can check out my videos at least a day earlier than the rest of the world if you do so pick a cool coat to wear on patreon and also take a look at my other videos over here. For now, I want to thank you a lot for watching this video till the end and bye bye.